Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 is a federal law that prohibits employment discrimination against employees and job applicants based on their race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. The Seventh Circuit considered a case of alleged sex-based employment discrimination by a major retailer in Equal Employment Opportunity Commission versus Sears Roebuck and Company. United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, or EEOC, is an independent federal agency that enforces laws making employment discrimination unlawful. In the late 1970s, the EEOC filed a Title VII suit against Sears Roebuck and Company, alleging systemic disparate treatment based on sex. More specifically, the EEOC alleged that Sears was guilty of engaging in a coast-to-coast -coast practice or pattern of discrimination against women. To prove its case, the EEOC relied on statistical evidence, which tended to show that Sears employed more men in higher-paying, commission-based sales jobs. Meanwhile, women were relegated to non-commissioned sales jobs with lower hourly pay. To rebut the EEOC's statistical case, Sears offered testimony from witnesses and experts, findings from surveys and case studies, and data regarding Sears employees and the labor force in general. All of this was offered to show differences between men and women in their general interest in and qualifications for commission-based sales jobs. The district court uncovered a number of problems with the EEOC's statistical evidence and made several key findings of fact that ultimately led to judgment for Sears. First, there were important differences between commission sales and non-commission sales. Those differences included the products sold, the pressure and financial risk involved, the knowledge and skills required, and the hours worked. Second, women were generally less interested in commission-based sales jobs than men. Third, women were generally less qualified for those jobs than men. The EEOC appealed the district court's judgment to the Seventh Circuit, arguing in part that Sears's non-statistical evidence was insufficient as a matter of law to rebut the EEOC's statistical case. 